All right, so in this video, we're going to go over the discovery call script. So this is what you're going to use every time that you get somebody that is interested in your services. You've maybe emailed them um, about getting more customers, getting more patients, right? And then they are interested in learning more. This is what you're going to use on that very first call, right? Because you want to be able to understand where their business is at, really position yourself as an expert and understand what is the value of a new customer for them. Okay, so let's take a look at the pre notes here. And this is 10 to 15 minutes before the call, you want to prepare and make sure that you have their website open. Okay, you want to have a pen and pad. And you don't want to be using a computer because it's going to get quite loud. So you want to make sure that you're just using a pen and a notepad, okay? And through your research, you should understand or have an idea which platform is going to work best, whether Facebook or Google, okay? And if you're a bit nervous and you have a little bit of butterflies and you have a little bit of uneasiness, right? And you don't feel like you have full confidence, what you can do that is extremely powerful is stand up and do some power poses. Raise your hands over your head, like if you scored a touchdown or scored a goal, go to Google and type in Amy Cuddy power poses. Uh, you're going to be able to find some great content, some great videos that show you how to use power poses to your advantage. Because what ends up happening is that as soon as you change your physiology, how you're standing, how you're sitting, everything is going to change as far as your emotions, how you feel. Because for example, if you're sitting down, stand up, and raise your hands over your head like in a victorious position and notice how you automatically start feeling good and it's hard or it's very difficult to even feel bad because you're in a power pose and so if you need to do that before the calls to kind of hype yourself up and get that boost of confidence highly recommend that you do that okay and then as far as getting into rapport remember we talked about rapport being that warm feeling inside of your stomach and so what you can do is feel that warmth inside of your stomach first okay and when you do that first you automatically get yourself into rapport with yourself right and so what ends up happening is that that transfers over to your prospect because you have a warm sensation in your stomach you are coming across like you're just trying to help them right and so they can feel that and they can sense that right through your language, your communication, understand that your objective is to gather data, okay, and to sell the next call. That is really your main objective here. You're not selling anything as far as a product or a service here. What you're doing is you're selling the next call, which is the presentation and the close, right? Here, you are positioning yourself as an expert. You're finding more about their business, gathering data, and then you are selling that next call okay and remember you're not below or above them you're both experts in your fields okay let's say they are a dentist and they have their business or they're you know a business owner they're a ceo they're a founder whatever that may be they are an expert in their field and you are an expert in your field so that's how you want to level the playing field and that's how you should come to these calls okay so let's go ahead and look at the first step here this is a quick chat for two to three minutes. This allows you to build rapport. And so what you want to do here is just start out by saying, hey, this is Juan from XYZ. How's your day of the week going? Notice how you don't want to just say, how's your day going, right? You want to get specific. You want to be different. You don't want to talk about the same thing that everybody else says that's automatic. If it's Tuesday, hey, how's your Tuesday going, right? And you want to say it with enthusiasm, okay? And enthusiasm doesn't mean that you're trying to sell them or that you're coming across strong. Enthusiasm lets the prospect know that you are professional, that you care about them, that you're interested in learning more about them, and that you're not just trying to sell them a product or service, right? And so they'll be able to hear that, sense that through your voice tonality and through your enthusiasm. So the questions here are very simple. Where are you based out of, okay? And this is even if you've gone to their website and looked at their business, you want to start that conversation to build a little bit of rapport. And then if they mention that they're in, you know, Seattle or San Diego or Miami, whatever that may be, 
you know, you can talk about, hey, are you originally from there or did you locate, right? It's just building that rapport in these very first two to three minutes so that you can ease your way into the agenda and pre-frame, okay? And so once you do this, then we're going to step two. This is where we set the agenda and we pre-frame how the call is going to go. Because if you don't pre-frame it and you don't set the agenda, they're going to be bombarding you with questions. They're going to want to take control. And the person that has the control of the call makes the sale, whatever sale you're trying to make here. And like I mentioned on this call, the only sale we're making is the next call. Okay. So this is how the pre-frame and agenda goes. Okay, great. So here's how these calls are usually structured. We'll start off by getting to know a bit about your business and what your goals are. And the whole purpose of that is to make sure we've actually got a solution to help you. Okay. So you're letting them know that, Hey, this is how this call is going to be structured. We're going to learn more about your business. And then the reason for that is because we want to make sure that we have a solution for you. Right. And then after that, we can dive into how we help our clients. And if it sounds like we would be a good fit, we can discuss the next steps, or I can direct you to another source that may be a better fit for you. Sound fair? Okay, let's dive right in. And so at this stage, we're letting them know that if there's a fit here, right, if we see them as a you know, potential partner, then we can discuss the next steps. But if not, then you're going to direct them to another source that may be a better fit for them. So this automatically drops their guard and lets them know that you're not selling them. You're trying to find out what's best for them. And if you can't help them, then you'll provide you know, some sort of resource for them to look at that may be a better fit for them, okay? And so step three here, this is where we figure out their current situation, okay? And so this is where we're finding out what type of projects, customers, patients, they're wanting to bring more on. What type of new patients are you currently looking to take more on and focus on? And so here's a key note. Are they looking for all types of customers? Are they looking for all types of patients, right? Or are they looking for a specific type? If you're working, let's say, with a home remodeling company, are they looking for kitchen remodel projects or bathroom remodel, right? What specifically? Or are they open to all kinds of projects, right? And then here's a very crucial question here. I know every business is different. Notice how we ease our way into this. I know every business is a bit different. So in your case, what would you say is the average, let's say, client or customer or patient is worth to you? And how long do they typically stay? So we're finding out what is the average value of a new customer and how long do they stay with you? So it's the value and then the lifetime value. Okay. And then what are you currently doing to generate new customers and approximately how many new customers are you bringing in each month? So this is a two part question here. We want to know if they're already doing advertising or what they're doing, if they have any kind of marketing strategy in place, or are they just relying on referrals and word of mouth, right? So you want to understand what are they doing and how many new customers are they bringing on each month currently with whatever they're doing, okay? And the next question here, what does your sales process look like from initial inquiry to paying customer? So what you wanna find out here is who is handling the leads? What is the process that they have? If it's a you know medical facility, does it come into the receptionist? The receptionist you know, then follows up, they schedule the appointment, and then you know everything gets coordinated with the doctor, right? How does that work? Because you want to know how that's going to work for when you start generating leads so that you can understand what is their process, right? And these are questions that you need to uh, kind of understand why you're asking these questions, okay? And some of these questions you may not need to ask in general because, you know, one question here, they may, you know, respond back with this one right here and say, hey, we're looking for kitchen remodel jobs. We're already doing XYZ marketing. So, they may answer these questions when you ask them, you know, one of these questions here at the very top. So if they already answered these questions, you have to become aware to not ask them these questions again because they already answered them. So that's why it's important to have the awareness and the understanding 
that what your objective here is to do is to gather data and you're not reading this like you're interviewing them, okay? You're reading this off because you're trying to gather data and it's not some kind of interview where you're just asking them questions just because, okay? There's intent behind this. We're trying to understand their business. And if they already tell us that they're doing, you know, Facebook ads or they're maybe using, let's say, Home Advisor or Yelp, well, we don't need to ask them, you know, are they doing marketing? Or you can say, hey, so you're doing advertising on Yelp. Hey, are you doing any other forms of advertising, right? So it's not always going to go in order, but this is more often than not the order that you want to follow because, you know, most businesses will follow these questions as far as in a linear path. However, like I just mentioned, sometimes you ask a question, they'll tell you the answers to several other questions in their response. So make sure that you're becoming aware of that and you are writing everything down in your notes so you can transfer that into your CRM. Okay, and then how many new customers are you looking to take on each month on top of what you're already doing? And so this is letting us know what is their capacity for more customers? Can they take on 10 or 20 or 30? Or do they have a limit and they don't have the capacity, right? You want to understand that. And so step number four here, this is a very important question here. This is what really puts you in the driver's seat and really puts you in the picture of success and their business having success, okay? So what you're wanting to do here is find out the definition of what success means to them, okay? And then you want to insert yourself into the picture because success means different things to different people. And so you want to understand what is a successful campaign, right, to this particular business owner. What does that look like? So then you can give them exactly that, right? This is a secret weapon here because you're getting them to tell you and spill the beans as to what exactly they're looking for as far as success. And then you are saying, that's fantastic. You know, with our system, you're going to be able to accomplish and get whatever it is that they just said. Okay. So this starts out with, okay, great. I really appreciate you sharing that with me. And then one of the things that we're always looking to do is enhance our service. Okay. So we're easing our way into this question. So let's say that we've been working together for six months now. And this is big because this question right here puts already in the back of their mind that we're going to be working together for at least six months. Okay. And so we're future pacing here because most of our agreements are going to be either three or six months long, sometimes 12 for the majority, three to six months is kind of the sweet spot for clients. Okay. And so what would need to happen throughout that time in order for you to feel like it was a success? Gosh, this is such a powerful question here. Notice what this is doing here. Like I just mentioned, we are placing in the back of their mind that we're going to be working together for at least six months, okay? And then through that time, what do they feel? What do they think, right? Or what is the picture of success, right? What does that look like to them to make sure that they feel that this was a success, right? What exactly does that look like? And if they have trouble answering this, you can just say, hey, you know, essentially, what would an ideal relationship look like to you? Okay. Or what would a successful marketing campaign look like to you? Okay. And so what we're looking for here is, you know, I want to be able to have, you know, 10 plus leads a month. I want to be able to make, you know, $20,000 a month from your services. I want to be able to do X. I want to be able to have Y, right? We're getting all of this information. And this is our ammunition, and you should be doing a lot of writing here. This is our ammunition for our closing, right? Because in our closing, you know, we talk about, hey, you know, you let me know that, you know, as far as a successful campaign, you're looking for X, Y, and Z, and you're wanting to do Y. And through our process and our system, you're going to be able to accomplish just that, right? So if you can't understand what they want and what success looks like to them, then it's going to be very difficult to sell because you're just kind of guessing what they want because they don't really know what they're doing here. They're literally spilling their guts. They're telling us exactly 
what we need as far as how to sell them, how to position our product. If they say, hey, you know, I want to get at least 20 leads a month or 10 leads a month. I'm going to be making X, Y, Z, you know, return. Well, you're going to know just that and be able to tell them when you're closing and let them know that, hey, you mentioned X, Y, Z and that you want, you know, ABC. Well, through our process, through our system, like I just mentioned, you're going to get just that. Okay. So very important question here. Insert yourself into the picture. Let them know that, you know, with your system, you're going to be able to accomplish X, Y, and Z. You can use it here to insert yourself into the picture. And then in your closing, which we'll go through in the presentation, right? Also do that as well. Okay. But the big thing here is just like if you're going into an interview, right? An interview, most of the time, what's happening is that the interviewer is interviewing the candidates, right? And they're the one that's the alpha because the candidate wants the job. However, a smart interviewer will change it up and ask a question like, you know, John Smith, you know, I really appreciate you having me here. You know, I'm curious, what would an ideal day look like for me if I were to be working here? And so what that question does is it makes the interviewer think, okay, this person, if they were working here, what would they be doing? And so they're automatically placing themselves in the position of already having the job. Okay. And so that's what we're doing here. We're placing the image of ourselves and exactly what they want into the mind of the prospect. So very powerful question here. Do not skip over this uh, because this is going to give you a ton of ammunition. Okay. So then number five, this is where we're selling the call. Okay. So this is where we're giving an overview of the next steps. Okay, great. Hey, you know, it sounds like there's an opportunity here for us to work together to help your company grow. Let me go ahead and give you an overview of what we do. So I don't know if you had the chance to review our website, but if you did, you would see that we help businesses grow through digital paid advertising. And we do this by putting your business in front of your target customers online. Typically, we'll have certain offers that grab your ideal customer's attention and direct them to either call or fill out their information to learn more. That information then gets routed to you immediately through our automation software. Our next steps would be to set up a follow-up call where I can walk you through our entire process and system step-by-step -step through a screen share presentation. Do you prefer mornings or afternoons? And then you're booking the call. You are assuming that they are interested and want to get to that next step. Okay. And so notice what we're doing here. We're talking at a very, very high level. We're explaining our services very simply. We don't want to confuse them because that's really all that we're doing when it comes to paid advertising, right? We are putting a specific offer in front of the ideal customer of that business. And then they're going to a landing page and then they're either going to call or they're going to fill out that information, right? And then that information is going to get routed to the business. So at a very high level, that's all you need to let them know because that's exactly what we're doing. You don't need to go into any specifics here, right? You can go into the specifics on the presentation. So uh, that's gonna be it here for the discovery call script. I would definitely go through this several times. I would even practice this several times as well. And I also recommend recording yourself because you can listen to yourself and how you're coming across, how you're using your tonality. Remember what the tonality, that's very important so that you're coming across like an expert and you're using the right voice inflections when you're asking a question or when you're making a command. Okay. So very, very powerful here as far as this discovery script. Like I said, go through this several times, record yourself and do not forget this question here. This is the most powerful one here. It's going to insert you into their mind as far as success and you being the vehicle that's going to get them that success. So uh, that's going to be here for this one and we'll see you on the next one.